Now there can be friction amongst siblings when it comes to the oldest, really? the middle children, and hmm. the youngest. The <laughs> oldest are the best. Uh, everybody Obviously, else is a train wreck. Right, sure. In today's relationship reboot, we're finding out how the spot where a person comes in, the family order, can have a strong influence on how we form and conduct relationships in adulthood. Joining us now is our relationship guru, Dr. Mm -hmm. Kirsten Lynn Seal. I love birth order theory. I'm somewhat obsessed <laughs> yes. by it. Yes, I think I do it's too. really interesting. Mm -hmm. And this goes way back, doesn't yeah. it? Yes, it does. So Alfred Adler was the first person who was the proponent of birth order theory, mm -hmm. saying, you know, actually, even though siblings are born into the same family, it's right. actually really not the same family because each new sibling is born into basically a different makeup of family, mm -hmm. a different hierarchy mm -hmm. of children, particularly. This is Freud era right. stuff. Yes, exactly. Right. Yes, Adler was a contemporary and a colleague of Freud, and they, you know, they broke on some things. But sure. in any event, including yes. some of this stuff, including too. some of this stuff, yeah, it was really interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Adler was so much more interested in sort of the social aspect of sort of our our interactions and our relationships, mm -hmm. which interestingly is what marriage and family therapists right. really focus on today. <laughs> yeah. So the research tells us a lot of different things, and it doesn't always tend to agree. But yes, what can no. you tell us about how the influences happen? Right. So so well well speaking from my stance, which yeah. <laughs> interestingly is also that of an oldest. The oldest right. Yeah. right. We need um, Matt here as the middle. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, we so so oldest. Uh, uh, oldest children tend to be because they show up and it's all about them. They're mm -hmm. the first child, you know, they're, they are the child that makes their parents parents, mm -hmm. right? And so they tend to be um, responsible, very conscientious, a little bit controlling. I don't know, Jason. These all sound very happen. familiar. Right. Yes. <laughs> right. yes, yes, all accurate. So, so, so oldest sort of tend to be that way. And again, it's not like you won't have an oldest who isn't conscientious, right. or, but that's, the, the, that's sort of the categories that we see. And, and clinically, I observe this. I see this all the time. Mm -hmm. Middles, because of the fact that they're the second child, mm -hmm. right, they come in and they tend to be, they worry more about getting enough love is what mm -hmm. we tend to see. They often tend to be the peacemakers too. Mm -hmm. They'll be brokering, you know, harmony. They, they really, really like harmony. Youngest tend to be very entertaining. They can be the clowns. <laughs> the funniest ones, the usually. Funniest ones. That's now, how it is you? in our house. No, my sister's the youngest and she's okay. for sure the funniest. Okay, right. Yes, my youngest brother is the funniest yeah. for sure. Mm -hmm. And then onlys are really interesting because, um, you know, there used to be a lot of research. We used to think that only children were somehow at a deficit, but actually now the research is very clear that onlys do just fine. Mm -hmm. They tend to really value their autonomy and they often don't really understand as as well as people with siblings do this idea of space. So mm -hmm. when they get into relationships, they might get a little more possessive, right? But that's just sort of very generally speaking. But you're saying this goes all the way into adulthood? Oh, absolutely, yeah. So some research suggests, and this I find this hilarious, but because uh, I'm an oldest married to a youngest, <laughs> and um, and 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 I've been married a long time, so you know clearly my N of one is is working. <laughs> right. Um, but, th but some research suggests that that actually, so if you marry it to what they call compatible roles, right? Mm -hmm. So a youngest with a with an oldest, um, to, but you know, two middles might understand each other better, but there might be some conflict there. Mm -hmm. And I'm remembering you're married to I'm married an to oldest, no, an right? oldest. Yeah, yeah, we're both oldest. Mm -hmm. Right. And but the, so so. But she only had two in her family, okay. mm -hmm. and her young, the youngest. Mm -hmm. There's so many years in between. Ah. So she kind that of like some an researchers only? would say she's that more. She's an more only. like an only. No, mm -hmm. this is really this is really true too. Yeah, my youngest brother though he's youngest. There's nine years between him and me, and so in some ways he also functions as an only. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So so actually in that way maybe that's you you are you actually are married totally Oof, thank yeah. goodness 20 right. years yeah. the end of one so over I'm married here. to a middle yeah are we and, gonna be okay and you were a middle and I was I, an oldest and you were an oldest oh oldest and middle good too oh, perfect right good. yeah Ooh, like yeah. this yeah <laughs> so you it's know, sometimes when it's the same that you can butt heads you can butt heads yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but so and, and again like everything in marriage the more that we're aware of mm -hmm. what's going on for us right. or sort of these you know what these are are expectations that we might have of ourselves mm -hmm. or how the world is supposed to be around us that has been shaped by where we were born into our family yeah. system. I try and be really conscious of this because we have three and very mm. conscious of, of making sure yeah. everybody gets treated the same. But it's hard right. sometimes. No, it's Every really kid hard. is different. Absolutely. And you know, gender can play a role in this too, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So because like if you have same gender like like firstborn and second born, mm -hmm. then sometimes there can be more rivalry there right. than if you had a different gender. Right. You know, and that's it's fun stuff. It's really fun. It's, it's yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. A lot of fun to think about. Very good. So, Kirsten, thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm.